this Pueblo de Fe uh, is a congregation that um, it has a lot of kids. For some reason, there are more kids than adults. And of course, families, they have an average of about six kids per family. So it's very interesting that uh, the, many of those kids are part of the church, and many of those kids are uh, just cross the street from their uh, their building where they live and then attend church because they really enjoy having uh, sermons. Cristo Rey is another Latino ministry here, and that began three years ago when one of the leaders, Latina leader, was going to the Agora program, and I met her there, and then we start dreaming about the possibilities, and she was very engaged. She's still very engaged here in the church, and we start the movement to have Bible study group here and women's group. It's a community that really um, enjoy uh, learning more. And not only that, but they're creating ministries within the church, which is Bible studies. So it's they're acting way beyond the, the walls of the, the church. They're reaching out. They're the one reaching out and uh, shared the word of God. I believe that leaders that are being prepared at Luther Seminary, the Agora program, are, um, are the key for the success of these two ministries. They're the one to carry and hold the ministry. I'm just one part of that. I think that I never planned much, but it, it was happening. All of a sudden, we have people that want a church. We, we have people that want to participate. So that's, I would call, the, the big surprise of the Holy Spirit to come in here. Here is the people, people in Pueblo de Fe and some people from uh, Christ the King. Uh, they're able to communicate the good news and the transformation they had through these missions. So they have the story, they can share the narrative of this is who we are. My commitment, and, and I guess not my commitment, it's my call, is to be working for the Church of God and, and uh, the brotherhood of partnership and, and congregations and St. Paul Larissa.